Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here, Lake Gunnersville today. Just put the boat in. I got Scout with me. How you doing, Scout? Huh? How you doing? We're gonna go out there. We're gonna try to load up on a bazillion white bass. We're gonna go out here. I'm gonna show you guys how to read your graphs and depth finders to know how to catch these bass and what they look like. So we're gonna go graph. It's summertime. Uh, so the bass are probably gonna be out and schooled up on main lake. They're kind of like crappie. You catch one, you catch a bazillion. So we're gonna go out there. We're gonna find them. I'm gonna show you how to find them. I'm gonna show you the best lures to catch them. And I hope you learned something. So hit that thumbs up for me. Let's go catch some fish. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel I put out a ton of videos here on Lake Gunnersville with my wife and dog so let's go all right guys I've been graphing I just went over school of hybrids they're, they're mainly off to the side on my side imaging over here, but you can see about 15 of them right here. So I tied on a DT10 Rapala crankbait and shad color because these, these hybrids are feeding on shad. So this is what I tied on right here, this little guy. And we're gonna chuck him out there. I'm gonna reel as fast as I can because these hybrids love the chase and it gets them fired up here in the summertime. So uh, they're busting around me right now and I'm just gonna follow, follow them around. They're chasing shad and we're gonna see how Maybe we can catch. Alright, here we go. Saw him busting out here. Picked up the crankbait. Let's see. Oh man, we're on him. We're on him good. Oh yeah, this feels like a good one. <laughs> feels like a good one, Scout. Oh it is too. Oh yeah. That's a real good one. Look at that. Man, if we we're flaying these up, this one will be about perfect. That one's about 14 inches. Sweet. All right. This is so easy. Let's get another. It's reeling it super fast and they're just choking it. Give it a little stop. A lot of times they crush it. There he is. Yep, that's a good one. Found the school. Decent one. Oh, they're busting right here next to me. Look at this, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Okay, here we go. Casting out the old DT-10 here. I'm just, I'm horsing it in really fast. That's what they like. They like, oh, there he is. Oh, gosh, he got off. He was right under the boat almost. Man, look at this. My screen is just lit up with fish, guys. Screen is just lit up. There's fish all over me right now. This is nuts. Found a big old school of them. Oh, there we go. Just got hit. Put him in the boat. Oh yeah. There we go. Decent white bass. That guy's probably 10, 11 inches. I just saw him busting over here, so I'm gonna cast over here. Man, they're in like a, a hundred yard circle. This is crazy. There he goes. Yep. Got him. Oh, this is nuts. There's so many hybrids in this school. Back to back. All right, there we go. There's another one. Let's get back down to him. I'm just cranking her down really fast and uh they're they're biting like crazy this is awesome oh i just got hit right below the boat there kind of sitting on top of them that's all right they'll still eat it i think i had grass on there let's go let's get another there we go another one yep these are good ones too man they're fighting so hard oh yep these are good size ones. If you want to catch some for dinner, just come out here. We're on like a, a little main lake hump that comes up and off to the sides of this hump is, is like 15 to 18 feet deep. And then on top of this hump, I'm sitting in 10, 11 foot. Man, I can't get this hook out. Got it. There we go. Let's get another. 
they're busting shad way up here guys let's go get them oh they're busting them like crazy I'm gonna make our way over there there's one yep another one oh my goodness catch them into the sunset I only had about an hour and a half to come out here tonight it took me a little while to find a school but this is great once you find them you catch a bazillion of them they're just everywhere it's nuts how many there are you gotta be careful taking the hook off of them otherwise you're gonna get yourself a treble hook right in the hand but if you grab them right behind the head there just apply a little bit of pressure they don't wiggle <sighs> they'd be good eating like i said i'm just throwing them back tonight tons of white bass in here just cast back out there crank her down just like this oh there he is i'm using a seven to three gear ratio reel guys i'm throwing a seven and a half foot medium crankbait rod just because it it allows these bass to to eat the bait hey actual large mouth check that out there's some mixed in so many fish in this school you got regular largemouth bass as well as your white bass as well as some striped bass they're just loaded once you find them schooled up feeding on shad so you want to graph around until you find the shad and you're going to catch them so cool there's so many of them get back out there another one yep back to back to back uh, I think he got off there he is oh my gosh another one hit it while I was reeling him in and he got off too what the heck look at this guys my screen is absolutely loaded right now that is crazy look how many fish are on that there's one yep that's crazy how many fish are loaded right here blows my mind these are fighters too these are all good sized white bass none of these would be fish i'd have to throw back oh, it's beautiful beautiful right into the sunset that's the best time to fish for them guys first thing in the morning last thing in the evening it's gonna be my last cast right here let's see if we get one i've already caught about 20 of them come on there he is yep last cast i'm gonna leave him biting i'm just gonna leave him biting this is nuts man he's fighting hard Whoo! and another one there you have it that's all there is to it fish and simple for billions of white bass could do this all evening but we're gonna get off the lake Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Got on a ton of white bass in, the, in about a half hour. Took me a little while to find them. You gotta graph around. I graphed a bunch of different humps and they really weren't active until this evening. So once they started getting active, they were chasing around shad. Shad were busting everywhere. You just gotta drive until you find some active fish and see them on your graph. Once you find the bait, you know the bass are close and that's what we did tonight. Caught a bunch of them on a main lake hump. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've ever caught any white bass cranking like this. It was a blast. Last. You could just load the boat with them, but hit that thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. We're going to get out of here. We'll see you next time on Fishing with Norby.